Hey guys, what's up? So this right here is the easiest YouTube subscriber counter that you can make. And what's interesting about it is that it's super easy to make without the knowledge of any programming language and it's super cheap as well. Keep watching the video and I'll tell you how to get this made for your own YouTube channel. My name is Saurav, you're watching Ethan Saurav, let's get started. Alright, so the moment you connect a 5V power supply to it, this thing will start up. In the initial stage, it will show the Wi-Fi pairing option in which it is going to connect to the nearby Wi-Fi that you have given the credentials of. Then it's gonna show you the Wi-Fi IP address, then the channel name, and then later on, finally, the views, total number of views that you have, and the total number of subscribers that you have. In case you're new to my channel, a sub should be amazing. And as soon as you will subscribe, the number will go up. I can demonstrate it to you. So this is my channel and you can see it's 424. I just subscribed to myself from a different channel. And I just, I'll just click on unsubscribe here. And 424, once the refresh period is over, it will refresh the readings on the screen and it will change into 423. Of course, the refresh period that you're putting in depends upon you. You can customize it and put it five minutes, 10 minutes, one second, two seconds. I've, for me, I've put it for five seconds. So every five seconds is gonna refresh. And I'll show you again what will happen if I resubscribe it. So I'm gonna resubscribe my channel once again. I press subscribe. So now it should say 424. Three. Two, one, go. There you have it. The best thing about it is that you don't have to be on the phone in order to check the subscribers and the views. You can just keep it aside on the side of your lamp or side of your table or like connect it to your laptop and you can just have a glance whenever you want to see it. Later on, you can also enclose this entire thing inside a box and hang it somewhere in your room where you can easily see it anytime you want to see. So let's see what all things you need in order to make this. The first thing that you need is a ESP8266. It's a small board similar to Arduino but a Wi-Fi adapter built into it. It costs around 300 to 400 in, in Indian rupees and 3 to 4 dollars in international market. The next thing that you need is a 16 cross 2 LCD board. Now this one has a 16 connectors behind here and it's very cheap it's around 100 to 200 rupees in indian market and around two to three dollars in international market the third thing that you need is a i2c connector well this is an optional part you can save the money in but i prefer it because it helps in the easy connection of the board with the lcd screen without the hassle of too much wires and that's why i would recommend it and this is also cheap it's around 150 rupees in indian market and around two dollars in international or three dollars depending upon from where you are buying by the way i will leave the link for the items in the description section so make sure you check it out and the final thing that you need is a bunch of cables well i would prefer you to have a colorful one so as to make it easy in color coding but it depends upon whatever you want to buy it's your personal preference Start with taking the strip of 16 jumper cables and it would be very nice if you don't make them get separated because in that way it will be easier for you to connect things. Once you have the group of 16 jumper cables, connect each and every jumper cable to the I2C connector in a particular order and keep the order same as the wires so as to get it easier for you to make connections later on. So I've connected all the 16 cables with the 16 pins of I2C connector. The next step that you're going to do is connect the other end of the I2C connector with the 16 cross 2 LCD screen. Now this display has to be connected in such a way that it's very tricky so make sure you do it right. So this part right here you have to keep the 16th pin you have to connect the 16th pin in according to this part. So basically if you look at here 16 pin is this one so i will turn it around and connect it in such a way that this wire will connect to this and so on every wire will be connected in that order
once you have connected every wire from i2c to lcd display all you have to do is connect the remaining pins here these four pins with the jumper cables so let's just do it and make sure that you actually follow the color rules like red in case you have a vcc black in case of brown it's just a convention and it's not compulsory but it would be nice if you follow and i see i'm just putting a white color there okay so once you have this connected as well this part of it will get connected to four wires this part of it of the i2c will get connected all the 16 cables will be connected here and the other end of the 16 cable will get connected to the led display lcd display i will leave the link for the circuit diagram in the description so make sure you check it out so once you have connected your i2c connector bring your red cable which is initially connected to vcc and connect it with vn of esp8266 this pin right here is the vn so i'm gonna connect it with that then bring the black cable which was initially connected with the ground of i2c and connect it with the ground of 8266 so these two cables are connected then the white cable which was connected to the scl of i2c here i will show you the white cable is connected with the scl the white cable connected with scl has to go in d1 of D8266. So D0, D1. And this brown one is SDA. This has to connect. This brown one has to connect to D2. Again, it's according to my preference. You can change it in the program and then connect it wherever you want. So once you have that connected, all you have to do is bring up your laptop, shoot up Arduino software, the link of which you will find in the description. Download it. Connect your ESP8266 with a USB cable to your computer and put the program in which you will also find in the description below. Okay, so I've connected my ESP8266 with a USB connector with my laptop. And now I have to open up Arduino, the software. I have this link of this software as well in the description, so you can just open it. And once you have it, you can just open it by double clicking it. Once you have it open, it will come something like this with a void setup empty and then void loop empty. Uh, if you are doing it the very first time, then you need to install the libraries of ESP8266. For this, you need to go to sketch, include, manage libraries and wait for it until it opens. And then here you have to search ESP8266. 8266 and press enter the moment you will do it you will have to find this one from adafruit adafruit esp8266 you can just press install it's going to install and then you're good to go with this and you can minimize it then in the attachment i've also included the link for these three files two and three what you need to do is you have to unzip it which I'm gonna do. Okay, once you have done that, you can just go ahead and cop copy or cut whatever you want and move to your documents. This is my documents here and head towards Arduino and inside libraries. Paste it here. It's asking me to replace because I already have the files there. Once you have that, you can go ahead close this and open this and in the description you will find the code as well that you need in order to make the youtube subscribe account right click open with notepad and copy everything cut copy everything and paste it in arduino remove everything first and then paste here once you have done that scroll to the top and this right here where it says define api key you need to put your api key of your channel and channel id that you want to track so first head to developers.google.com and press enter 
and then you have to log in here it has a sign in button so you just have to log in okay so once you are logged in you can see my profile is there all you have to do is once you have logged in your profile you have to move to console.developers.google.com i will leave the link to this in the description below as well and once you're here you have to just go and click on create project and give a name and press create and wait until the until google creates a project for you make sure that the youtube id that you want to track is the one that you have logged in here it's gonna make it so much easier once you have the project made here you can see it's here you can go ahead on the left three lines and click on apis and services it's gonna load you the options where it has libraries then you have to go to libraries and here you have to search for youtube api version 3 which is this one, data v3 if you're coming here for the very first time it will ask you to enable it so i'll just click enable once it is enabled it will move you to a screen like this all you have to do is move to credentials once you're here you have to just click create credentials api key and it's going to create you the api key that you need you can copy this and close it make sure you copy it before closing and then head to the program and paste it in between the codes here like this okay one thing is done the next step that you have to do is get your channel id so for that move to youtube.com and click on your channel once you're here you will see this before question mark and after backslash you have to copy and paste it between the double quotes here like this once you have done this this right here you have to type the name of your wi-fi make sure that you type it in the same order that is being shown case sensitive with all the spaces and here the wi-fi password that you need and once you have done that you can scroll down and there would be an option here lcd print atom serve this is the name of the channel that you would like on the display to show every time it restarts so you can change it to whatever your channel name is whatever and there is one more thing that depends upon you you can keep it whatever you want go ahead here and see api mtps this is basically the time that you want the data to be refreshed so if it is 60,000, let's say for example it will refresh every one minute so every one minute the readings on the screen will refresh and will show you the current reading but for me i've just kept reduced it to one tenth of a second so every one tenth of a second it calculates again and displays it on the screen so after this you have everything done press on compile and it's going to ask you if you want to save the sketch somewhere press on save it's fine and it's going to take some time to compile also make sure once this thing is compiled go ahead in tools and boards and then under here you will see 8 to 6 6 boards and press on node mcu 1.0 I've already selected it, but you have to do it so that your board can be recognized to the Arduino program by the computer. Okay, once, once the compilation is successful, you will see these two lines as white and there would not be any error here. Just have to press this button, which is saying upload. Make sure in tools that your correct port is selected so as to make the program go in without any errors. At this point, make sure you don't touch it and the connection is not loose. So it's connecting, it's connected and now it's writing the program. And as soon as the upload is finished, it's going to start with Wi-Fi pairing mode on. Then it's going to show IP address, channel name, whatever you gave. I gave it whatever. And it's going to show the total number of subscribers as well as views. So that was all for the video. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.